Urban Meyer. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this guy is a freak. Um, all of his winning percentages, Bowling Green, Utah, Florida, Ohio mm-hmm. State. Uh, could you get anything out of him on a Friday before a game? So I was very fortunate to have history with him. So I don't, I think I've shared this with you before back in 1991 or two, my dad was at San Diego state needed to hire a running backs coach. And, um, the two guys he interviewed for the job were urban Meyer, who was at Colorado state at the time and Sean Payton. And Sean had been a GA for my dad. And so he ends up hiring Sean, but I've, No, just growing up a coach's kid and in an era where, you know, my dad coached against Daryl Bruce. Um, My dad coached under Frank Cush and Frank Cush and Woody Hayes were very, very similar people. Mm. And Urban was coming up as a young coach. So when I first started to get to know Urban in 2006, 2007, as a working professional, not a coach's kid, um, like my name was familiar to him. He knew my background. He knew where I had come from. So he was much more at ease with me. Um, now, that didn't make it easy. Like, he's, he's the most paranoid college coach I've been around in the last 18, 19 years. Wow. In fact, it might not even be close. Now, Gus Malzahn's a close second. I could see but that. Gus Malzahn, from a personality standpoint, is, is a much better people person than Urban is. Urban, I've always said this. There are people that have vices in life. There are people that are addicted to gambling, substances, alcohol, women, what have you. Urban Meyer is 110% addicted to the sport of football. Addicted, without question. Um, and, and I've always enjoyed him because you always know where he stands. There is no gray area with him. Um, now, you may not always like it, and it may not always be enjoyable, but you always knew where you stood with him. And the guy won. He won a lot of football games. So there's a lot of people, including yourself, and I think I'm leaning this way too, that, that Dan Mullen may not coach again. But let's go with Urban. He's so much better on TV than I thought he would be. Um, well, you, by the way, by the way, you say that. When he first came to work for us, uh-huh. he was downright dreadful. Yes. Dreadful. Something but, clicked. Again, that doesn't matter. It's who you are. Um, that gets people to tune in by and large for the most part. That's what television has turned into. But you are correct. He has become very good on TV. He is. I didn't think he would be that good uh, with Fox. So my question to you, Tom Luganville, do you think he coaches again? I want to say no. Um, And the only reason why I say that is his age and the, the, the circumstance, the, the, the job would have to be so perfect and so ready made to win a national championship within a, a, a two to four or three to five year period that I just don't know if the timing of that would work out for him. Okay. All right. Uh, I want to go with one more before we let you go. Um, right. Tom Lugan, Bill ESPN college football on the farm bureau insurance guest line. Don't miss one moment of the Out of Bounds Show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. On ESPN 105.9. The Zone.